Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are going over any type terminology because I have struggled with this a lot and I know that a lot of people are struggling with exactly the same. This took me so long to understand and today I am trying to explain it to you guys. So the first things we have are spaces. These are basically workspaces in any other app. With the new update that is still in pre-release, I think you can have um, different spaces inside of your AnyType app. So I have two. I have one for my YouTube channel where I make YouTube videos. So this is the one I always show you. And I have my personal space here. So that's the first thing. Spaces are basically different workspaces. Then we have objects and the best way I have uh, figured out to find what uh, or to describe what objects are is basically things. Everything inside of any type is an object. This is a page object or actually this was, uh, this is a page, this is a database or a set object. Uh, this is a page. Uh, this is probably a collection, that's right, and so on. You have what's called library, which keeps all of your different types, object types, and you can easily create new object types if you want to. I have a few, I will just jump into my personal space to show you my different objects. So I have areas, resources, social media, I'm actually going to delete this one. Uh, but I have book, I have social media scripts and talks because I end up, I have ended up in the past having to hold speeches sometimes and I just store them in here. I should probably make two different object types for that. Uh, anyways, articles, we have tweets, we have my personal thoughts, we have apps because I tend to... I tend to review apps and having an app database like this one or an app object type uh, makes my life a lot, a lot, a lot easier. I have podcasts because that's what I consume the most, projects as well as humans. So some of these I have created myself like projects, podcasts, app, tweet, personal thoughts and so on. Uh, and some of them are actually in the any type library and you have a library of object types here you can uh, use or you can create your uh, own ones. So now we have covered objects and libraries. The next thing I want to um, go into is relations and relations was so hard for me to figure out out. Uh, I struggled so much with figuring out relations because first I thought they were just properties inside of a database but there is a lot more to it than just being uh, a property. They are properties inside of databases as well so inside of your collection you can use a relation to create a property but it is so much more than that. Basically, relations are how different things are connected. As you can see, this is connected to an area or a project. So my film any type video is connected to the project of filming the any type video. Or another good one is this. Uh, on purpose is connected to Jay Shetty because he is the podcast host. So basically relations are just how things are related to each other but they are used as properties inside of, uh, inside of your database as well. Now let's go into the database. This is a collection and collections are actually basically just databases. Uh, there isn't much more to say about it. It is databases with different properties or relations. So this is how I manage how things are related by using this, um, this relation here. Uh, and 
Uh, it is called podcast host and it is uh, based on the human object type. Uh, but there are one, there is one more thing and that is actually the uh, sets. Sets is, looks like a database and I would probably personally call it a database, but it is also a search query. So uh, you could use this to get a list of your uh, all of your objects within an object type. So this is based of the object type task. This lists all of my tasks and I can use filters to get uh, different filters views. And um, I have struggled a lot with this, but I saw in one of my YouTube comments, someone said that you can think of uh, sets as a search query, and you can think of collections as a folder, a place to have all of your object types in them. So the main difference is basically that a set is based on one type of object, while a collection can sort many different uh, types of objects. So inside of here I have everything from podcasts or uh, movies or whatever I want to have inside of here. Then we have backlinks. Uh, you can easily backlink things by pressing at and linking it to something else. Uh, and a lot of people struggle with this type of note taking, but the way I basically do it, let's say I was going to write something about the on purpose podcast instead of writing on purpose podcast, I would probably just press at and use on purpose. Um, so I would do it like this and I would continue writing. That's basically how I link different things together because I want to easily be able to see how um, my different ideas are linked together when I'm inside of one idea. So I use both relations as well as the at symbol and just typing it out to uh, connect different things together. The next thing we are going to touch on is the graph and this is basically a graph view with uh, the relations. So you can see everything inside of a graph. And that's probably the most important thing. I wanted to touch on one more thing because I got asked uh, a question about it inside of one of my videos or in the comment sections in one of my videos. Uh, and someone asked, what is the difference between a task and a tag? A tag is basically a property, just a property, and a relation is how things are connected. The way we use tags, or I at least do, is to get different uh, kind of uh, views inside of my different pages. So I use this uh, to create a filter. So let's say this task was for a project. Let's say this actually was for my uh clothing brand that is probably easier because that's the only view I have set up in this space but uh, I would jump into my uh, clothing brands dashboard this takes a little too long to load today anyways uh, let's say I, I wanted it to be a, a part of my clothing brand this is a task related to my clothing brand the way I use this is to create a filter third view inside of my clothing brand dashboard to only see tasks regarding my clothing brand. So that's basically the terminology behind uh, any type and all of the things. I know that it is a little bit hard because I struggled a lot with this myself, but I hope it's a little bit clearer now. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.